Hi everyone, welcome back to Roundup Save. It's Jenna here and I'm so excited to be back with you again today. Today, I really wanna talk about business school. As many of you know from our first video, I mentioned that I started business school at Duke University Fuqua School of Business and I wanted to just start you know, a new business school series and just give you an update on how things are going, what I've been learning, and you know how my expectations have deferred from when I started and just kind of give a general update series and then um, hopefully we'll, we'll be diving a little bit deeper into business school, what it's all about, why people do it, what you can expect. Um, for those that are interested in, in going to business school as well. So Neil had some questions for me about my expectations, so I'll just read through his questions and then answer them as best as I can. The first question Neil had for me were, what were my expectations before coming to business school and how have they changed since I've been here? So before coming to business school, I knew that it would be a very different experience from you know the past six years that I had spent working and I knew that it would be really busy. So many people told me that going back to grad school, going back to business school especially, it's just a lot to juggle because there's so many opportunities and events and you know just so much that you have to do to fit into your day and that you would really be living by your calendar and you know to some extent I've always had really good time management and I thought that that would be you know not so hard to juggle but boy was I wrong. Business school has been so busy extremely rewarding but so busy i didn't realize the extent of how busy i would be i mean there's days when i will wake up at like 5 5 30 a.m to do my reading go to class at 8 a.m and sort of just be out or like at home but working on something so like my mind is on until 11 p.m 11 30 and i'm usually a 10 10 p.m 10 30 bedtime kind of girl so that's definitely been a challenge but i think it's also been extremely rewarding. So in business school, not only are you taking classes and learning new things, but you're also uh, what we call recruiting, which is trying to, you know, soul search and talk to people and understand what kind of profession you want to go into or what sector or function for your internship. And sort of the internship search process begins as soon as school starts in the fall. So I think that was pretty surprising and something that I was not like I was expecting it, but I just didn't realize the extent of how crazy it could be. I made it. <laughs> I made it through uh, both the summer term and the fall term, and we're halfway through our fall two term now, so just before Thanksgiving, and I think finally getting the hang of things. So that's been great. You know, people told me that business school would be busy. I didn't realize how busy they actually meant, but it's all good things because, you know, like I said, it's academic, internship, and then also the social part of it too, which has been really fun. One of the things that you know everyone talks about business school being like you meet the best people of your life and it sounds so 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 cliche but I really really believe it like there are just incredible people here at Fuqua I am just so privileged to have the opportunity to have met them and and to get to know them I mean there's people from all different countries all different parts of the US all different backgrounds communities it's been really amazing and I think another really incredible thing about business school is that the population within business school is also changing where it used to be a very historically white male population of students it's ex it's like the complete opposite of that now it is extremely diverse at least Fuqua has almost 50 percent women and so it's been really amazing to find sort of people that I can identify with going through the same things that I'm going through so that's been awesome another question that Neil had for me is like what are some of the clubs and activities that I've gotten to be involved with since starting at Fuqua so it's been about again, three to four months. So some of the things that I joined, I, I wanted to be really strategic about the activities that I joined just to sort of fill in some gaps in my resume. And then also just like really focus in on what I wanted to do and not sort of get distracted by everything else. Because like I said, there's just so many amazing opportunities and you really have to sort of think strategically and narrow down what is you know, going to be impactful for you, what's gonna be important for you, and what's gonna get you, you know, excited at the end of the day. And also at the same time, you can't, you just don't have the capacity to take on too many things. So um, for me, I wanted to fill in some gaps. So for me, I have three leadership positions in school. One is I'm an admissions representative coordinator and I help match uh, admitted students, so people that are getting admitted now to Fuqua with current Fuqua first years. And that's really great because I had such an amazing buddy when I got matched. Um, they're called buddies. 
<laughs> but just having someone to help you sort of navigate that journey, uh, you know, when you get in and then uh, when you actually come to Fugua, I think that was really important for me when I was admitted and I wanted to sort of get involved with that. Another thing that I joined is the Association for Women in Business and I have the finance cabinet position, which was extremely competitive and I honestly didn't think I would get it, but, and I didn't think I would get it because I don't have a finance background. That being said, I am super invested into personal finance and I find that really important. And so I think I was just sort of able to leverage how I've, you know, budgeted myself, how I like keep track of my own budgets and then excitement in personal finance. And I think that sort of helped me to get the position. And so that's been great so far. I manage a budget for a huge organization on campus. And then um, in the spring, we'll be involved with also planning a personal finance event for women and, and female allies as well on campus. And then the third thing that I've been involved with is the Entrepreneurship and Venture Club here at FIWA. And that was really strategic for me because I don't have any startup or VC experience experience and that's where I want to go into post Fuqua and so for me I took on the career and external relations position kind of getting to create sort of roadmaps for students to go through while they're at Fuqua to sort of learn how to navigate both the startup and VC role which I thought would be really helpful because they always say like if you what is the phrase if you can like teach it you can do it and then I'm also part of like net impact club the energy club um, the wine club those are just like more fun things just to get to know other people but uh, there's so many clubs that you can join and so many different activities. And so there's really no shortage <laughs> of things that you can do at business school. One of the other questions that Neil had for me is what has changed since I've gotten to business school or, or basically how have my applications differed from what I'm actually doing now? I wrote about wanting to become a product manager for a healthcare startup. And while I'm still planning to go the startup VC route, I've kind of shifted a little bit and this all happened once I came to Fuqua. So I want to start working in the climate, uh, energy, sustainability space. I think for me having you know this public health background background. I've been so focused on healthcare, uh, but for me what's really important is uplifting others and improving quality of life wherever I can and I think there's so much opportunity in sort of the climate energy sector space. To be honest, I found healthcare, particularly pharma, to be kind of stagnant and not as innovative because there's it's so bound to research and so I wanted to just you know, be able to have an impact, but still do something, you know, that's cutting edge, relevant, and just kind of explore a new industry. So yeah, you know, started off thinking I would go into healthcare, health tech, and now I'm going into climate tech, green tech, uh, whatever you want to call it tech. So really excited about that. Finally, Neil's last question for me was, what were some of the favorite things that I was doing on campus? What are some of the things that I'm learning? And so I wanted to share a little bit about that. When starting business school, again, I didn't have a business background. I took accounting, leadership communications, statistics, economics, and then also took like a tech, how tech has transformed businesses class as well as an entrepreneurial mindset class where we got to do sort of like a design thinking project. That was really awesome. I think accounting was definitely tough, same with statistics and economics, but super interesting. And I was actually surprised that I did quite well at accounting. Uh, and now I'm taking finance and strategy and marketing and leadership communications as well. Um, and so that's really about teaching you how to become a better public speaker, especially when, um, you know, as a business executive or future executive one day, you're, you're going to have to deliver presentations and speak to people and sort of communicate your thought to a different, to different audiences. And so that's sort of the whole premise of the class. And I think that'll be extremely useful. I think finance, surprisingly, well, maybe not surprisingly, is one of my favorite classes. And that's really because I'm learning about not only how finance affects me, as a person, but also how it affects businesses as well. So we've been learning about inflation, the time value of money, you know, investments, how to create like the best investment portfolio. Um, and that's been fascinating because I've never learned finance before, despite having a vested interest in it. I'm definitely planning to bring some of those learnings to round up save and share some of that with you. And I will have a video about inflation coming up and what that means for your money. And, and you know, there's so much going on in the post COVID or still current COVID world. And I think it's really important to know about how to 
just know what's going on with your money and what to do for the future. So more on that coming, really excited. Let me know if you have any questions about business school, feel free to drop a comment below, make sure to subscribe. Um, and I'm excited to you know keep sharing more about business school with you. Um, so let me know what you think and uh, stay tuned for the next business school series. Thanks guys, have a great day.